adorable pineapple pillows using this reversible sequin fabric. Some people call it a mermaid sequin fabric. It's super magical. <laughs> yeah, it is yes, magical. Yes. You could play with this for hours on your bed, right? Yeah, I do it all the time. Our sewing friends today are... Hi guys, I'm Drew. And I'm Rylan. Hey everyone, I'm Macy. And of course we have you. So before we get started on our pineapple pillow today, let's get all our supplies ready. You will need some gold reversible sequin fabric, which I bought this one at Hobby Lobby, or you can find some at Joann's or online. You could also make this pineapple out of any other kind of non-stretch fabric too. And you will need some green felt. Also some stuffing. And you can print out the pattern from for this project for free at threads, threadsewingschool.com. Find the link for the pattern down below the video. You'll also need a needle and thread to finish up our project at the end. So to start, you're going to need a, six of these football shapes cut out. And I, for these kind of projects, I like to lay it out and trace it, trace it around, and then cut it. But lucky for us in our classroom, we have a magical sewing fairy who will do all the cutting for us as long as we all snap our fingers at the same time. Are you ready? One, two, three. And voila, we've got our pieces all cut out and ready to sew. Aren't we lucky we have that sewing fairy? Yeah! <laughs> now that we have everything cut out and ready to go, we're going to sew together our green leaf pieces first. So these are going to be at the top of our pineapple. So first you're going to take this crown looking piece and we're going to fold it in half just like this and we're going to sew down this end and it's going to form kind of like a loop. We're also going to take our long leaf pieces we're going to fold them in half kind of like a hot dog and we're going to put some stitches just right here along the inside of it and what that's going to do, it's going to make it kind of stand up straight so that they're not floppy on your pineapple. Oh! Any questions, girls? How do you fold these exactly? Just to get like, them straight? Yep, yeah, you just fold them and make the ends match up. Okay. All right? Yeah. All right, so grab your pieces and go to your machines, girls. Woo! So we're going to turn this thing inside out. Well, we're going to do the crown thing inside out, so it's just like this. Then we're going to take your leaves that you've sewn, we're just going to stick them inside, and we're going to match this end up with this end. And then we're going to do the same thing for all the rest. Just like this. And try to make it like spread out a bit so it looks nice. Just like that. And then, you're going to make sure it's all how you want it, because now we're going to sew it in. Make sure they're all lined up so you can have it all sewed in. So once we have all our leaves ready, we're going to set these aside um, and we're going to start sewing our sequin pieces together. So <clears throat> you should have six football shapes. One. We're going to start with just two. Oh, six. Now this part's important. You can see with this fabric that it can go in different directions. You want to make sure that you can like pet them all down the same way. It's kind of like that. petting a dog. You're going to pet the sequins all down the same way, and you're going to put the pretty sides together, just like that. Um, in our class, we like to use these clips instead of pins, but you can use either. And we're going to clip along one, one side, all the way down, and that's where we're going to sew. Mm -hmm. two 
two football shapes together, we've got something that looks like this. Next step, we're going to open it up. Make sure you can see which way the sequins are facing. Right now, they're all facing down. So when I get my next piece, I'm going to make sure they're facing down as well. I'm going to lay this one against one of the sides. After you open it, you're going to line it up along this side and you're going to clip all down here and that's where we're going to sew. Alright, so guess what? Half of your pineapple is sewn. You've got three football shapes sewn together and that makes one half of your pineapple. So your next job, girls, you're going to take your last three footballs and you're going to make your second half of your pineapple. So make sure they're all, the sequins are facing the same way, pin pretty sides together, and do the exact same steps that we did here. Okay, so we're not going to attach into this? Not yet. Okay, so we're just going to make the same exact thing? Yes. Got it. I'm going to just go set this over here. Okay. halves that look like this and we've got our pineapple top so we're almost ready to sew them together but before we do we're going to take our pineapple top and we're actually going to turn it upside down like this and we're going to place it right at the top of one of the sides and we're just going to sew that down like so Okay. All right, girls. Uh huh. Right. Yep. Uh, let's go. Woo! All right. All right. So you should have two pineapple halves and leaves sewn on top of one. I'm gonna steal that from you. So here's uh -huh. one half. Macy, can you hand me your other half? Yep. Thank you, my dear. Okay, so we're going to tuck those leaves back down just like this and kind of tuck all the sequins in so it's all the way inside out. We're going to take our other piece, make sure all the sequins are the same way. Okay, they're all facing down. And we are going to match up our two halves all the way around, except we have to leave a hole so that we can turn it back right side out and that we can stuff it. So, I'm going to have the girls come up and they're going to start clipping. Okay, so you can see Rylan's got hers all pinned together all the way around the circle. What we like to do is leave two red clips and that's going to be, the red is going to remind us to stop. We're not going to sew in between those red because we need a hole to be able to turn it around and stuff it. Okay, okay. So first you so you sew it your hand so in. You, you stick your hand in and then you kind of like get a grip and yeah, then like pull, pull it, it through. Yes. And then like that. So um, just keep pulling it through. It's kind of hard. And if you so that's why you like need a kind of big hole. Yeah. If if you have trouble, ask a grown up mm -hmm. who knows how to sew. <laughs> yep. And look at it. That's so cute. This takes okay. a very long and time then, for me. I made a really tiny hole. You go like this, and okay. then you get and then you stuffing. Just, then you get some stuffing, and then you <laughs> still go in here. Stuff it in. <laughs> Still going. Okay, you gotta stuff it so it's like hardish but like soft. So it like it filled but soft. So it won't like flop over and it's not it's fun long. to play with it. It's not fun for okay. a kid to play. Okay, so now we've got our stuffed pineapples. We just need to get that hole closed. We'll get this and hole that's closed. where our needle and thread comes in. 
have to make sure it's really perfect. And we'll show you how to do that. Perfect, like, stuff. All right, project complete. Woo! It's amazing what you can make with your own two hands. And what do you, how do you feel, girls? I feel yes! awesome. We make these by ourselves, so it feels awesome because look how cool they are. We just like play with it while you're in bed. I really no one it. helped us. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> no one at all. Except the magic fairy. The magic all right. Fairy. She comes by and high five. Give Woo! us some tips. Bye bye.